Yo, what's up YouTube? Just gonna make a video. Um, quick subject, really. Now look. I don't come on here with facts and figures, numbers and statistics, and tell you that it's true, right? Because numbers and statistics don't necessarily do that. You would have to have numbers and statistics from every angle. It would just get too confusing and boring. No, instead I just use pure logic. Sometimes getting to that logic is not always straightforward. For example, this uh, subject I'm going to talk about now is that um, about humans are the only creatures on this planet that have souls. And the animals don't. And, um, you know, at the moment you began, <gasps> Shock, horror, what do you mean my dog doesn't have a soul? What? God, shut up, that's bullshit. Of course my dog has a soul, and my cat has a soul, and my horse has a soul, and elephants have souls. Which when you look at them, you know, you'd think, well, yeah, of course they would, wouldn't they? I mean, they seem to have affections and personalities and characteristics and things like that. So I'm going to do this from two arguments. So the first argument is this. If an elephant has a soul, then a giraffe has a soul. And a zebra, and a dog, and a cat, and a mouse, and a weasel, and a flea, and a fly, and a germ. So you start to see the logic here? Where do you draw the line? Right? If you're going to say animals have souls, where do you draw that line? Or you can say that germ has a soul, and a fly has a soul, and an ant has a soul, and again, is that what we're going to argue here? Okay, you could argue that all these beings and a little bit of bacteria has a soul, and when I do a poo, there's bacteria in my poo, and there's lots of souls being flushed down the toilet. Yeah, difficult to argue that, isn't it? But if you're going to insist that your dog has a soul because you see it has character, then here's the second part of my argument and use this logic. If a human with a soul is observing an animal, then isn't it quite possible that some of those characteristics are coming from the human? And you'd never be able to prove this because you can't see animals unobserved. And this kind of ties in with the um, protons, electrons thing. Now, I can't remember the specifics of it, but um, I do know this for a fact um, that they have kind of proved, these scientists, that um, the electrons or the protons or whatever behave differently when observed. Now, I don't know how they know that, because how could they not observe them? But they did this test or something, it went fire and electrons, and sometimes they'd split in two and and do this um, strange thing. And even when they just filmed it and didn't, or something, didn't open the results, left them in a box, I was, I was like, opened it ten years later or something like that, it was still as if it had been observed. Um, so there are two arguments, basically, to say that humans are the only beings on this planet which have souls, and the animals don't. But what's quite interesting... <laughs> It doesn't take away anything special from the animals. I mean, unless you were that animal, of course, then, you know, you wouldn't have a soul. What does that feel like? I don't know, because I've got a soul. We've all got souls, so we wouldn't know. But when you meet an animal, if it doesn't have a soul, if it's just a body and a spirit body, but clearly you can see they have affection. I mean, they have great affection, don't they? In a way, it must be like God. The animal, in a sense, must have like a link to God. <laughs> They're all God's creatures. So I do like to think of all the animals as the eyes and ears of God. And if you're like, if you're somebody with a dog, you know, your law of attraction brought you a dog and you're kind of getting God's affection, God's help through your pet. So that's that. Um, please um, 
put some comments and argue these points because uh, we need to talk about these things and this is just for my friend who just skips to the end and likes the funny bits but anyway I can't bother okay bye god that was really fast wasn't it I'm usually much slower but I'm in a bit of a funny mood uh, I feel like I should slow down and go like this but I can't be bothered I don't know what I'm doing now I'm losing it. <laughs> <laughs>